First of all, I came here to see Ronaldo. I'm in Manchester right now. You're asking me questions about God, okay? You know, I love God. <laughs> Like I'm about to go see my idol, bro. Like I'm about to see the like I'm about to go see the person that I love the most, bro. Like I'm about to go see the person that I look up to every day. I'm about to go see the person that I watch his highlights every day, bro. Christian freaking Ronaldo, bro. No evolutionist can tell us why there are still monkeys today if we evolved from monkeys. Why are there still monkeys today? No, no, you're not. You just called me a monkey. Charles Darwin says you're a monkey. What? Charles, I'm a monkey? Charles Darwin calls you a monkey. Charles Darwin says that. Are you late. serious right now? Charles oh, Darwin. shit. Tell us, oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell us Charles me. Darwin says that. I want to ask you, I want to ask you something, man. Yeah, ask me something. Tell me. Because I watch your videos, man. I actually made a, I made a review of one of your videos. All right, what is it? So, um, I forgot what it's called, but you made a video. I want, I want to know, man. Are you gay? Yo, Only for Ronaldo. Yeah. All right, all right, come, come, come. Listen, hold that, hold that, hold that. Hold that, hold that for a second. Hold on, hold on, I want to ask you something, man. Listen, man, I know your father is a Christian. Okay. Are you a Christian? Am I a Christian? Okay. See, that's a very, you know, great question, you know what I'm saying? But let me ask you this. No, okay? no, no, no. Answer the question first. It's okay. a great question because a Christian is someone that's repentant of their sins. Why you always That doesn't support sexual immorality. That's not walking for fame, but living for Jesus. Someone who's denied themselves, pick up their cross daily and follow me. I'm not against you trying to make money okay, or right, making right, good right, music. Okay. But if you're a Christian, you need to repent of your sins. Otherwise, just like any person here, not just you. You hey, need, okay, you'll find uh, yourself in hell. All right, okay, other way. So are you a hey, Christian? Hey, let me talk, all right? Are you a Christian? Okay, first of all, I came here to see Ronaldo. I'm in Manchester right now. You're asking me questions about God, okay? You know, I love God, you know, but... Just, just if you're I, but, let, hey, no, you're hey, hey, hey. I want to know. Hey, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, let me tell you this. Stop talking to me, sir. Have a nice day. <laughs> I, thought, I thought so. I thought so. Yeah, no, sir, I thought so. No, sir. <laughs> The man is gay for Ronaldo, his father's a Christian, and he's afraid to acknowledge the question because he knows what I'm saying is right. He's going against his conscience. He loves his fame and he loves the world more than he loves God. He loves the fame and he loves the money more than he loves God. And he'll be gay for another man. You've heard it from his own lips. I'm here to tell you today, unless you repent, you will perish and find your way in hell. All fornicators, all those who sell their soul for money, for fame, and living in sodomite, effeminate lifestyles will find themselves in hell. It doesn't matter how famous you are or not. When you sell your soul for fame and for a following, you're not going to have that in hell. It's going to fade away. This is why it's important to look at God and your soul and where you are with him. Jesus said, unless a man repents, he will perish. He will perish. What? I forgot that guy's name. What was his name? I show speed. He sped away very quickly when the truth of Jesus Christ was mentioned. Why couldn't he answer the question whether he was a Christian? Why was he so quick to acknowledge or rather affirm that he could be gay for another man? You see, this man makes provocative videos. They say for the attention, for whatever it is. His father's a Christian and he knows what the question was and he could not answer it. He had to run. Because the Bible says light comes into the world. Men love darkness rather than light for fear that their deeds will be known. They would rather stay in the dark than into the light. We got to pray for I show speed and all the people. We got to pray because they're trading their soul. The Bible says what will a man give in exchange for their soul? What will you give in exchange for your soul? A, a little crowd following you around 
being gay for Ronaldo? You, will, will you sell your soul for a soccer icon, a football icon? You're going to sell your soul for that? You're going to sell your soul for a 20 little kids, teeny boppers running around? Hey, I'm around, I show speed. Is that what you're going to sell your soul for? You're going to sell your soul for a Mercedes Benz, a house? What will you sell your soul for? If you're a young person today and you're listening, you got to turn off I show speed and make yourself available and run with speed to Jesus Christ. You need to use speed to go to Jesus Christ. Run for your life. Because Jesus Christ is coming soon. And he's coming like a thief in the night. So whoever you are, young or old, rich or poor. What was that? I can't even hear you, bro. Come here, come here, come here. Sorry, 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 sorry. Speeds the young kid who's made millions, you know. So who are, who are you to, to say that's wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, nothing's wrong with making millions. It's just... What will, what will you make millions doing? Selling your soul to the devil or honoring God? You can trade your soul for millions. Absolutely. You can, you can trade your soul for a prostitute today. But, but, but where will you be if you were to die tomorrow? And, if, and do you even care? You say he sold his soul. He hasn't sold his soul. He's just a very funny guy who's done well for himself. So, you know, we'll leave it at that. Just respect well, why was it that when I asked him if he's a Christian, he couldn't answer? Why was that? Why did, when I asked him, is he gay? He said he would be gay for another man, a soccer player. Now, you can say it's all jokes and fun and games. But when you can't before the entire world testify whether Jesus is your Lord, that means he's not. If you can't praise God before the world, that means you're praising the devil before so the world. You're denying who the Bible says, if we confess him before men, he will confess us before the father. But if we deny him before men, he will be denied before the father. So I want to ask you, is Jesus Christ the Lord of your life? No. I'm not a Christian. No, uh, you don't have, I don't I respect the Christianity. But okay. So you're denying Jesus Christ. So if you continue to deny Jesus Christ, you will be denied when you stand before him. And it's totally up to you. I want to let you know something, though. You're denying Jesus Christ because you don't understand the, your need for the Savior. I, I, I respect that everybody has a truth. Doesn't mean I respect what he's saying. I don't respect his beliefs. I don't. I don't think his beliefs are accurate or right. But I respect his choice. No, but it doesn't matter what you think. I don't care what you think. I wasn't even talking to you. I believe in God. No, I don't think. No, listen, if you don't respect what I think. That means you don't believe in God. The Bible says whoever has the Son has the Father. If you don't have the Son, you don't have God. So don't lie to yourself. You have a God that doesn't exist. No, I